Hi, I will read and play for you chapter 15 of my method, a new method for auto recorder, page 154. Last notes, tonality and modality, syncopation, ornaments, alternative fingerings, there is a lot of things. In this chapter we are going to encounter notes that occur very unfrequently. Nevertheless, you may find it interesting and it may also be necessary to know how to play them. For some of these notes, you need to close the hole at the end of the recorder with your leg. So I suggest that you try these notes sitting down. Notes. When you have mastered them, you can also try to play them standing up, bending and rising a leg when necessary. Be careful not to knock your feet. This movement is unusual, but you will find the solution that best suits you by trial, trial, trial and error. In teaching you the fingery for this note, I will use numbers. Number 8 is the hole that has to be closed with your leg. So, now we lost the the page and we go in a video because there is something to show you okay video part so we are speaking about the very higher note but before that we speak about this very higher note we have to understand something in general concerning the recorder the recorder has many wind instrument not the brass, but the other wind instrument, flute, clarinet, saxophone. It's did in a very. It's interesting to try to understand how it's did, how it's make. Making the note. Here, you have like a, a tunnel, in which you blow, and this is made because, the air will go exactly in one. Point. And what is this point? This point is this here. Here. When there is this label, this the eye going exactly in this direction, some parts go out, some parts go down, and it makes a vibration or something similar. And that like in a in a in a bomb they create this small vibration that are quite no sound uh, make that the air in the in the instrument mm, start to make a, a vibration a strong vibration and this vibration make the sound so in a wind instrument there is not the 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 instrument that is making music is the air inside that make music the air is like like a string in a guitar in violin has a vibration and this vibration is the sound i if i clo close all the fin all the holes with my finger what happened it happened that i have an instrument uh, the the term is column of air long from here to here what is 30 centimeter 40 centimeter i don't know and this like a, a string of guitar long some some measure make one sound one note so when all is closed the instrument has not all not whole it is long from here to here when i put up a finger it's like i was opening a hole So, what changed the note is opening the hole. And what happened when I open this hole, this double hole? It's like I cut, I was cutting the column of air vibrating, that was vibrating. And so I will have an instrument shorter, like this. It's the same. This is shorter. And this is longer, but it's, it's not easy to cut really the instrument. It's more, more practical to open a hole 
and open a hole, I am making shorter the instrument. So if I play, if I just put up my finger, don't think on the note. Look, the last, the last hole is here and before the last is here. So the last hole is shorter than before the last. Each hole that I open, I make my instrument shorter and the note is higher. But when I'm arrived here, I have no more holes. It's finished. It's finished. There is no more notes. Okay, and after? And after we close again. But we close again with something here that uh, make something very particular. They cut the column into half, vertical half, not horizontal, vertical, into half. And this half column, half column, make the same note an octave higher. It's not so in tune. For making exactly an octave higher in tune, the instrument has to be cylindrical. But this instrument is not cylindrical because here is larger than here. So this is a conical instrument. They start great and finish small. There is many, many reasons for this. So the intonation of this second octave is not very good, but is this. It's not going after this. This is the last. So I'm starting again. Don't worry about the note. Just you have to understand the concept. Okay, and this is the second instrument using half colon, half, so an octave higher. And then there is another instrument, another, I can continue, using a third of column. This doesn't change, it's just changing the, is an octave and a fifth higher, is this. And then there is another instrument in which I'm using two octave higher. And then another two octave and a fifth higher. So, um, for this reason, when you arrive at G, you close something. If you close, you have to go down. But this is not will be close, this will be half. And so this note that normally is here, now is the same note. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, better here. The same note, the same fingering, an octave higher. Why? Because with this half close, I am like cutting the column of air, the air, the, the instrument that does make sound in two parts, and half of something make double of vibration. Half co half string in guitar make double of vibration. One hundred. Uh, uh, a string and tie, half string, 200. A third, um, one fourth, a fourth of string, 400. So, uh, and now this is important because we have to think how we can make better tune or create some new note or some new position. When I open, some finger, I'm going up. 
When I close them, some hole, sorry, when I'm closing, I'm going down. But if I am here, C, I would like to find a B. It's too low. And, and when something is too low, what I will do? The, the hole after. It's too high. And when something is too high, I will close the hole after. And this is the B. For example, E. Um, I would like to make E flat. I have to close something. But if I close this, it's too much. This is a D. So I will close the hole after. But it's good, but it's still I. So I will put another finger. Very good. But there is some instrument in which this is too low. In the bass recorder, this is too low. So I will not close this. I will close this. It's too high. I will close this. For this reason, sometimes you will see me making on bass E flat with this position and not this, because this is too low. But you have to think, uh, to remember how it's run with the recorder. Opening something, you go up. Closing something whole, you go down. If closing the first is too low, you close the second. If closing the second is too high, you close also the third. But what happened in this? Look my finger. The finger go down. So I presume ta 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 but the music make Ta, 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 ta. There is no logical sense. Da, 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 da. Why? Normally we know that making closing more finger, the notes are going down. But this happened in this register. But not in this. Why? This is very interesting. Because this note is in the second register of flute. This also is in the second register, second range, second, but this is in the third. First, second, third. third. For this reason, the D is in the second register, the C sharp is in the second register, the E is in the third register. So this is higher, this is higher than this. Now that we are in the third register, this is lower. This was just an explication. So when you have to try to find something new, you have to know that open a hole, you go up. Closing a hole, you go down. If it's too much down, you close not the first hole, but the second. And then you can correct this, closing the third, the fourth, etc. But be careful and not change register. Because sometimes, like this, closing the first hole, I am still in the second register. 
uh, this second register this is the second but if I close two I am going in the in the third register this is the third register for this reason there is this uh, strange thing. Now we are speaking about F sharp. F sharp is making like a G or this complete clause on half clause, it's the band for your instrument, but closing this with the legs. So you put your thing, your flute here. This is a this is a G. Zero, the, uh, half zero, one, three, four, six, seven, or half seven is the same seven we can see. This is a G, and this is a F sharp. How can we recognize is, is, if it is really an F sharp, another another note? All you have with your telephone, your handy, a, a program, a app that or you have with a tuner something that told you, tell you how is if the note is correct or not, or you have to arrive alone. How? You have to make a chord. A chord, if you are trying to understand F sharp, you have to make a chord F sharp major. That is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Uh, I'm sorry. This is correct. But if it were... This is incorrect. This is incorrect. Wrong. This was in tune. F sharp, G sharp, or A flat. There is two position: one simple, or with this. There is a little difference. One, this is lower, this is higher. But this is specially related, as G sharp, to the next one, A. Because with this 2 plus 2, I am ready to make this G sharp A. There is another position for A that I use normally in my recording G sharp A. Just one finger, the medium. Not all instruments make it. I have to check. Two, cinque, sei, otto. Yeah. Uh, it's not the same. Probably I will use half little finger in my in this instrument. And then there is a note that's very unusual to find B flat, top B flat, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8. Whoop, I will try. 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Can we try? Ah, you need a lot of force. It's a, it's a note that you never find in baroque music, not at all. B natural. Z one, uh, zero, one, two, four, five. And you have to try the chord of B major. Yeah. 
is not good, but it's correct. The last one is easy, is C, top C. You find it in the Saraband, in the Allemande from um, Bach. Handed with this higher C. And there is a piece from Telemann in which there is this higher C. If I could remember. It's easy, this note is just one, four, zero, half zero, one, four. But the problem is that you have to blow the stronger as you can, the harder as you can. <laughs> because if you don't blow very hard, it doesn't come. Also in this one, you can check if it's correct. C, E, G, C. Okay, this was. I think that I will not record the exercise 52, 50, because there is impossible to listen. I will start from 534, but this is uh, next lesson. Bye-bye.